Hello everybody, my name is Pritesh and welcome back to the course on basic to advanced Excel with ChatGPT. And uh, in the previous sessions, we have dealt with different kinds of functions that we took the help of ChatGPT to help us with in Excel or Google Sheet that we were working on, like sum, profits, if, left and right, date, if, etc, etc. In today's session, we will be working on the net working days which means if we have a particular range of dates, we will understand that what were the number of days and what were the working days, which means working days except any kind of national holidays that come and any kind of all the weekends also. So that is what we are going to do in this particular session today. Uh, so that is going to be the net working days function. Let us see how do we go about it. So if you look at the data that I have over here in the network days, we have got start date, end date, number of days and the number of working days. So number of working days will be exempted uh, from the weekends and any kind of national holidays. So let me again go back to chat GPT to ask me uh, to ask for help and uh, ask chat GPT on how can it help me to get my function. So I have the chat GPT window open in front of me. I will just ask chat GPT again, you know, the drill, we need to be as clear uh, in the prompt as possible. So I'll just type hello. I am new to Excel. Also, guys, now onwards, we will be working on all the prompts and all the functions in Excel. So prior to this, we were working on Google Sheets, but going forward, we will be working in Excel itself because there are certain functions, there are certain operations which are very complex for which we require Excel, right? Now, I'm new to Excel. I have data of start and end date. I need to calculate the number of days within the given range. Please help me with the appropriate function right so first we will only do the number of days and then we'll do the net working days out of it so i just press enter and you can see that chat gpt is telling me welcome to excel blah 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 suppose your start date is in cell a and your end date is in uh, a1 and end date is in b1 click on the cell where you want the number of days say c1 and enter the formula equal to b1 minus a1 so let's see if this works okay so let us see if it works so number of days i have to see where my start and end date is so start date is in b4 and end date is in c4 right so their formula is b because their formula is b1 minus a1 so what i'll do is i'll change it to c4 minus b4 so i'll just change it over here c4 minus b4 and you see i have got 234 days i'll just drag and drop and you can see i have got the data for all the number of days within these dates i'll just add my border right now this is how i get my number of days now if i want to calculate okay uh, i hope you can see my screen okay just a minute Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just show it to you. Yeah, I have just copied the formula from there. I'll copy the formula here and it comes as zero. Why is it coming as zero? Because it is calculating B1 minus A1. But my start and end date is in B4 and C4. So I will just change the formula from B1, I'll make it C4 and from A1, I'll make it B4. And then when I press enter, I get my number of days. I'll just drag and drop and I'll get number of days for all the given date ranges. I'll just put the border and that is how I get my number of days within the given date range. Now, my next function is to calculate the number of working days. So again, I will go back to chat GPT, right? 
I'll go back to chat GPT and I'll ask chat GPT. Okay. If you want to include both the start and end days, then you can use the formula plus one. If you want to include those days as well, then you have to just add plus one. Okay. Now I'll say thank you. Why am I doing this? It is because I am trying to get you in the habit of writing your prompts as clearly as possible. And that is why these small, small gestures like hello, thank you is very, very important so that you get used to writing the prompts very, very clearly to chat GPT, right? So thank you. Can you help me calculate the number of working days within the given date range with the help of a function or formula, anything? Perfect. So again, it is saying, suppose your start date is in A1 and end date is in B1. As is B4 and C4. So this is the formula. Networking days, bracket opens A1, comma, space, B1, bracket close. Okay. So this is how you do it. And then you need to see, create a list of holidays. Suppose you want to exclude the holidays. There's a list of holidays that your organization follows. So if suppose there is a list of holidays, you can list the holidays in D1 through D5 and then you need to add this in your formula so that it considers that as well. So we will do that also. First, we will begin with this formula. I just copy this formula that is network days A1, B1. I'll copy it. I'll go back to my Excel and I will just paste it over here. Remember, I need to change A1 to B4 and B1 to C4 and I press enter and my networking days are here. I will just drag the arrow and I've got my networking days for all the given date range. So 234 were the days but the working days are only 169. Why? Because they have excluded the weekends. Now, for example, I have got certain leaves. I have got certain holidays, not leaves, holidays I have got. So I just list down the holidays. First, I'll see the date ranges. So this is October to May. Then it is December to June. This is Jan to July. This is March to May. And this is Feb to June, right? So I'll just list, say, three holidays. Uh, say, I'll say, uh, second Jan, 23, right? I list is as holiday then i'll say 15th or okay 25th of march say 24 holiday right so now what i'll do is i'll just take my formula i'll just go back to my chat gpt and see what chat gpt had told me for the leaves so what had it told me for the leaves it had told me that for the leaves, you need to just put a comma and select the date range. Okay. So I'll do that. I'll do the same thing. I'll go back to my Excel and I will put this date range that is H3, H4 and H5. So I select this cell. Okay. I select this cell. I'll put a comma, I'll put a space, I'll write H3 colon H4 and I'll press enter. Okay. So H3 and H4. Sorry, that is H4 and H5. Sorry. H4, H5. You saw 169 became 168, right? 169 became 168 and you see even in the next one one day got reduced why it got reduced because this particular date was coming within the range of these dates this particular date was coming within the range of these dates and that is why whereas for the remaining ones the date was not coming within the range and that is why the day the number of days didn't reduce even for here one day got reduced because the dates were coming within the given range and that is how with the help of network days and with the help of 
you know end date minus start date you can calculate the number of days within the given date range this will be very very helpful for all of you who are working with data when it comes to you know being an hr or any kind of data it will be super helpful right so this was about the net working days and that is how we can just go back and mark our index as done for network days perfect and now in the next session we'll be dealing with extract email names we'll be dealing with extracting email names in the meanwhile as every session i give you an assignment even in this session we will ask chat gpt to give us few sample data sets right so thank you for the help can you provide me with sample date ranges to practice both number of days and net work days functions on excel and now chat gpt is going to help you with lots of sample data sets they have given you three different data sets and they'll help you to calculate the also they have also given you holidays so that you can use the holiday function as well okay so this is how you can use this data practice it and uh, that will help you to get a hang of the formulas okay so uh, this was it about the network network days i'll be seeing you in the next class where we'll be practicing extracting email address okay so or email names so thank you so much Keep watching, keep learning, keep practicing. The more you practice, the better you'll get at it. Until we meet next, this is Pratesh, your host and those from LearnBay. Signing off for now. Take care. All the best.